Uh, I'd like to speak a little bit again about setup and talk about the string heights and everything. Uh, as a jazz musician, I needed to also find a, a way of having my strings at a height where I can play acoustically and get 110% of the sound of the instrument to come out, yet also have enough uh, dexterity that I can play quickly and also uh, with sustain. The higher the strings are, the more the attack there is and the faster the decay. And the lower the strings, there's more sustain as possible. And so since I'm in situations where I'm playing acoustic and amplified, I needed to find uh, sort of this perfect balance. I mean, it's a personal thing, but what's important is that uh, here I'm in a, in a church. It's, it's important that the bass can speak and we can hear the wood of the instrument. And also, if I was being amplified, I could play softly and we would hear the sustain through the amplifier if I had an amplifier with me. I think it's very important because uh, we all go through phases and I went through phases where I'd have the strings lower and we have the strings higher. And uh, in general, it's kind of funny but people would say that uh, they enjoyed my playing a lot when the strings were often too high for me, which was almost inhibiting. And I found that when they were too low, I almost had too much technique, so the musicality side of things suffered in a way. So I always try to find a string height which is just enough that it makes me work a little bit and makes the bass work, but at the same time I can still uh, get, get out the notes that needs to be gotten out.